Hello, my crafty friends. I hope you're having a spooktacular day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Welcome to day eight of the 13 days of Halloween series. Hopefully you're having as much fun as I am. I also want to let you know that I truly appreciate you checking in every day and watching our videos and leaving a comment. Because of the sheer volume of comments, it's difficult for me to answer all of you. However, I do go through through and try to answer as many questions as I can. I did want to take a quick moment to just give a few shout outs to people who've been consistently watching every day. Angela, Karen, Nancy, Christine, Sylvia, Platinum Diva 75, and so many more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For today's project, I am reposting my haunted pumpkin carriage that I created last month. I love this project so so much I really wanted it to be a part of the 13 days of Halloween series. I created this using a digital file by SVG Cuts from their Enchanted Autumn SVG kit. The paper collection that I use is by Recollections. It's called The Green Witch. I just love this paper collection. This was a Michael's Hot Buy. This project was so much fun to create. Typically, when you think of a pumpkin carriage, you think of Disney, which is fun and light and Cinderella. For my carriage, I wanted to put an elegant but haunted spin on it. On the top and sides of the pumpkin, I've layered these beautiful silk organza foam and mulberry flowers in greens grays and blacks I have these white berries sprinkled throughout the top of the pumpkin has this glittered skull I did line the pumpkin with this beautiful green rhinestone trim on the right side here we have this large sequin spider and you can see these beautiful copper hints throughout. On the front of the carriage door, we have another glittered spider here, and you can see these beautiful wheels that are outlined in copper. I did line the top of the carriage with this black spiderweb tool that has hints of gold in it. And I've also lined each of the wheels with these pretty vines. On the side of each of the doors, we have these cute little windows, and inside the windows, I have these green gemstones. On the side of the carriage, you can see this beautiful floral spray here. On the bottom of the carriage, I've lined it with more flowers, and on each side, we have these glittered skulls. And for the eyes, I've used a green glitter pearl, and here we have another glittered spider. Here's a better view of this beautiful spiderweb tool. This is the back. Let me give you a closer view of this paper. Isn't this gorgeous? So you've got this dark emerald green with the hints of copper. I think that is so elegant. And this is the other side of the carriage. We have another skull here and spiders. And you can see I've used a combination of this beautiful chartreuse green, a lighter green flower. We've got foam flowers here. Here are some of the silk flowers. I wanted to give you a close-up view of the carriage windows. You can see the green gemstones there and this spider. And for the door, I have it lined with vellum. The top of the carriage opens up and you could put in fairy lights to illuminate this area. I'm using these small LED battery operated lights that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. You can get these in orange. I think they have black and also a yellow color. So let me show you what this looks like. This is what the carriage looks like when it's illuminated. I think it gives it a fun, spooky feel to it. This would be a wonderful centerpiece, or you could also put it on a fireplace mantle, anywhere you want to make a really fun statement for Halloween. This concludes my review of my haunted pumpkin carriage. Hopefully I've inspired you with some new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please do take a moment to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Be sure to join me tomorrow for day nine of the 13 days of Halloween series. Also, stop by and visit Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking and Michelle Randolph from Shabby Chic Chick to find more Halloween inspiration. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now, and happy Halloween.